Guff Luff. Bring Thogdad back, says Killian. Hey, whoa, 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 you whoa. write to Thogdad and say bring him back. He's quit. It's like Jesse from Nelk. He decided to he decided to sack it off. He went home. He doesn't want to be anywhere. Well, lads, what's the crack? And welcome back to KTFG. And today we are going to be ranking on rating or rating, should I say, every single Premier League team's away jerseys. Now, of course, I think uh, since rating all these out of ten, uh, I think the overall quality of these jerseys are pretty good. There's still a few questionable ones in there. So uh, before we do dive into it, make sure you are subscribed to the channel. 95% of you watching this video are not subscribed. So if you are a new viewer, make sure you are subscribed. Make sure you like the video as well. It really does help and support the channel. And make sure you click the bell so you're notified when I do upload. So enjoy me rating your club's Premier League away kit. Starting off then with Arsenal, and to be honest, this is a very nice kit here. You know, I like the black. I'm not too sure about the wee patterns in the black, though. That's the one thing that does turn me off. But other than that, like, this is all overall a very nice jersey. And I think the black does really suit, and I like the way that they've just got the wee cannon gun that they had in their red jersey from last season or two, instead of the proper uh, uh, jersey badge for um, Arsenal. So I think that is definitely different. I think uh, I like that. Uh, what Arsenal are doing with their badges for their away jerseys. I think it's definitely smart, so I give this Arsenal jersey a 9 out of 10. Now we go on to Aston Villa, and to be honest, it's proper Aston Villa away jersey. I swear they have this one every year, so just a blue jersey, a few patterns here and there, and that's about it really. It's an okay jersey in my opinion. I think it's too repetitive though. I think they always, I also feel like they always at least um, choose this jersey for their away kit. So, I mean, it's, it's okay still. It's just a bit repetitive, so I'd probably give this one a seven a, a seven and a half out of ten. And now we go on to Bournemouth, and well, I kind of like Bournemouth, you know. It's got the p a vibrant purple colour in there, and it looks like a tropical paradise almost. It definitely is different by the cherries, and well, of course, it does indicate that Bournemouth are a seaside town. Not exactly the Caribbean lake, but it is still a nice seaside town there, so it kind of is indicating a wee bit that it is by the sea, by putting in a few uh, tropical images there. In the background of the away kit, I do think it's another nice jersey here. So I'd probably give Bournemouth a 7.5 out of 10. I mean, I know I said Villas isn't too nice and Bournemouth is nice. So maybe I could have given Bournemouth a bit higher. But to be honest, I think they're both sort of on the same level. I think Bournemouth could have done a wee bit better with it in my opinion. But it still is nice enough, I guess. So 7.5 then for Bournemouth's away kit. Now we go on to Brentford. And to be honest, I had loads of questions when I saw this Brentford jersey. The first question and the big question is, what have they done with their badge? What is that badge they put on it? I mean, if you not just kept the same badge, if the same badge was nice enough, you just had to put that badge on it, didn't you? I, I'm not too sure what it is, really. It's just like an, an old-school badge, something you probably find in FIFA Create a Club, um, really. So I don't think the badge is a good idea, in my opinion. And well, But the rest of the kit, though, it's nice enough. There's shades of uh, dark black in there and grey in the blue, which I do kind of like as well. I mean, it could, this definitely got loads of improvement in it, definitely. It definitely is uh, down to the lower stages of the jerseys from every Premier League club here. So, well, it's still a nice jersey. It's decent, like, it's not great, though. I'd probably give it, though, a 7 out of 10. Now we go on to Brighton, and this is probably another one of the best jer uh, uh, jerseys this season. I mean, what a jersey this is. It's just got, like, that sunny colour, like, um, the red and orange and yellow all mixed together. One thing I do think, though, is... They should have had that design on the arms here instead of just having the arms orange. That is the one thing I think might be stopping this from a 10 out of 10 kit. I think it's a very nice jersey here. I give it a 9 out of 10. Well done to Brighton. I think they're, um, I don't even think they'd released their home jersey when I was rating them. So, well, they've released their away jersey. And well, I tell you what, it is a work of art. So, 9 out of 10 then for Brighton's away jersey. Now we go on to Chelsea. And to be honest, Chelsea's is okay once again. I mean, in my opinion, it definitely does suit Mark Cucurella a lot. I think it really does suit him and Raheem Sterling, too, I guess. So, suiting the new signings. But overall, is it a nice jersey? It's okay, I guess. I mean, Chelsea don't really release that many nice jerseys, in my opinion. And, well, I tell you what, this is another one of them. It's decent, like, I'll give it that. It's okay. It just isn't that good. So, I'd probably give this one a 7.5 out of 10. Now, we go on to Crystal Palace and once again, Crystal Palace bringing out some of the best kits in the world. I mean, this is sort of like the same idea as the home jersey. It's a white jersey, and they've just put one scribble of blue and one scribble of red down the middle. I do like that again. They're keeping with the same creative idea there. 
and while they're they're um, implementing it more in more creative ways as well, I think uh, whoever's making the Crystal Palace jersey deserves a raise by the club because he is he is making some works of art that should be in an art gallery beside the Mona Lisa. And while really I do really like these jerseys too, I think Crystal Palace are running the kit. Uh, uh, I, th- I think if the Premier League was based of how nice your kits were, I'm pretty sure Crystal Palace would win that Premier League. I've given it a 9 out of 10. That's not as good as the home jersey in my opinion, but it still is up there with one of the best away kits in the Premier League. So Crystal Palace, I've given them a 9 out of 10. Now we go on to Everton, and this is one of the worst jerseys in my opinion. I know pink at jersey, we've seen it a few times. They can make it nice, to be honest. The pink jerseys, they can make it nice every now and then. But here, though, it just looks off. I don't like it at all. I mean, they put a few black stripes in. I don't think pink and black really mix together. They're two very different colours. And, well, they've gotten sort of weird, all we- these weird patterns and all. I mean, it's just a big mess, in my opinion, just like Everton Football Club is. I think it's a big mess of a jersey. I'd give this one a 6 out of 10. It's really poor. Definitely loads of room for improvement. To be honest, 6 might be too... Um, it might be too nice, a five or even four. This is a horrible jersey, in my opinion. And well, I tell you what, I definitely need loads of room improvement. So Everton get a six out of ten by me. Now we go on to Fulham, and to be honest, Fulham is decent. Like I mean, they've got a few strange patterns. When I first saw it, I thought, ah, oh, this is another bad one. But to be honest, it's okay. I'll give them that. It is okay. It's definitely better than the Everton jersey. I tell you that. And well, I think this. I think the patterns are decent. Like. But the rest of the jersey, you know, it's still a bit meh, apart from the patterns. I think the patterns are saving it here. I've given it a 7 out of 10, but, like, to be honest, loads, again, loads of room for improvement. But it still is a decent jersey. So, Fulham, get a 7 out of 10 by me. Now we go on to Leeds United. And, well, I actually kind of like this jersey. Once again, it's creative. It's got a dark blue template. And, well, it looks like splatters of yellow across it. I know many people will not like this one, but... And to be honest, I do kind of like it. I think it definitely does suit Leeds United players a lot. It suits Rodrigo Moreno when he scored a brace in it against Southampton uh, last week, which, uh, yeah, that's good for him at least. And, well, I think, I think Leeds have definitely done good with this jersey. I think it could be a bit, it could be room for a bit more improvement, but it still is decent enough. So I'd give this one a 7.5 out of 10, but definitely it could easily be an 8 out of 10. So, yeah, Leeds have a decent jersey in my opinion. Now we go on to Leicester City and well, I remember that I thought it was Leicester's home jersey was the worst in the league. I've actually kind of grown on me now and I actually don't mind it that much anymore. But their uh, away jersey is pretty nice. You know, it's got a good feel for it, you know. I think it's a very nice jersey in my opinion. I believe they've still got the gold crest there, which I did like about the home jersey. And well, I tell you what, I think it's, it's definitely better than their uh, home jersey. Home jersey still decent enough. But I think this Leicester away jersey is really nice. And we're going to see a few good games by the Foxes in this away kit. So, Leicester City's kit, I'll give that an 8 out of 10. Now we go on to Liverpool. And once again, it's these Scouse teams who do not know how to make away jerseys. Because I tell you what, this one is just, oh, it's all over the place. Well, not all over the place. It's sort of more of an idea to it. But, you know, a white template. And then they've got all these colours. I'm not too sure what to describe these colours with. And well, they're just all over the place. It kind of makes me sick looking at it, to be honest. Just like the Everton jersey. These clubs in Merseyside, they do need, they need to hire new play, people to make their away kits. Because, I tell you what, their current uh, kit makers are not doing it for them. But yeah, here it's 6 out of 10. And once again, I think 6 out of 10 is uh, reasonable enough. It's a bit better than Everton's, in my opinion. I'll say that. But it still is very bad. And there still is plenty of room for improvement for Liverpool. So, I've given their... Pretty sickening away kit, a 6 out of 10. Now we go on to Manchester City, and well, I kind of like the mixture of red and black in my opinion. I mean, I'm sure I'm trying to look like AC Milan is not going to help you win the Champions League, Man City. Just get that into your mind. But it still is a nice jersey in my opinion. I think Erling Haaland does fit it well in my opinion. I think he looks cold in it. And well, I tell you what, I mean, I'm sure uh, AC Milan is kind of copying their idea. But definitely is different in my opinion. I like their crest in this one as well. It's all yellow pretty much uh, with the mixture of red and black in it as well. So I think they've definitely done a decent job here on the Man City away kit. So I'll probably give it an 8 out of 10. Now we go on to the Manchester United away kit. And well, once again, this is another very nice kit. Just a plain white jersey, but I kind of like the collar as well, you know. It's not like the uh, collar that goes up. It's just a normal collar, and it's got wee, uh, it's black, but it's got wee dots of red and white. And I think it's pretty nice, in my opinion. It's not as nice as the home kit, I'll say that. I'd probably give this United away kit an 8.5 out of 10. It still is definitely very nice. 
it's near up there with one of the best, definitely. I think um hopefully uh, United can have a few good performances and if uh I know we've had a few good performances with it in pre season, but hopefully they can do that in the Premier League as well with it. But still it's a very nice jersey for Manchester United, so I'd probably give it then an eight point five out of ten. Now we go on to Newcastle United's jersey, and like once again, it's another nice jersey here. It reminds me of uh, Inter Milan, almost uh, almost Inter Milan, definitely. It does have that same dark blue colour in it. I think it's, it's definitely pretty nice, and well, it's highly well. I think with Newcastle, these new kits, I think they're going to play very well in them. So once again, just like the Manchester United kit, I've given this Newcastle kit an 8.5 out of 10. Now we go on to Nottingham Forest, and well, although I did like their home kit, their away kit though isn't the quite same in my opinion. I mean, the yellow, I'm not too sure about the yellow, if it really does suit the Nottingham Forest jersey, I'm not too sure about it in my opinion. But the main thing I don't like is the arms. I've got these all weird patterns all over the place in them, and well, that's the thing, the thing that does ruin it. It definitely is better than the Liverpool and Everton jerseys in my opinion. But still, it is pretty bad, in my opinion. Uh, the yellow just doesn't suit Forest, and I've given this one a 6.5 out of 10. It's still better than the uh, previous ones from Merseyside, but it still is down there with one of the worst highway kits in the Premier League this season. 6.5 out of 10 for Nottingham Forest, in my opinion. Now, we go on to Southampton. Well, to be honest, there's once again decent here. I mean, I think uh, they've got a bit of waves on it, like which does represent where Southampton are from. They're another seaside town or city. Uh, definitely, I think that is definitely smart by Southampton. It still is decent enough. Like There could be still be room for improvement here, but I still do think it is nice enough. So I've given the Southampton jersey a 7.5 out of 10. Now we go on to Tottenham, and well, this is just a mess here. Tottenham, I mean, they had a decent away jersey last season, and well, they tried to kind of replicate that last season, a different idea. And well, it just hasn't worked out. The purple, the purple template, it doesn't work out. And the arms with the white, and I think it's yellow in the arms. I'm, I could be wrong. I put it up, and it's probably up on screen by now. Anyway, so you'll have a good look at it. And well, I tell you what, it's definitely one of the worst jerseys alongside Liverpool, alongside Everton and Nottingham Forest. I mean, again, I think it's definitely down there as well. It's just um, another one that's just sickening to look at, in my opinion. So I've given this one, once again, a 6 out of 10. But easily, once again, it could be down at a 5 out of 10. So anyway, in my opinion, Tottenham's kit gets a 6 out of 10. Now we go on to West Ham. And well, i tell you what, West Ham's kit is another decent one. I'm not too sure what to make of it, other than I do kind of like it. So I've given the West Ham jersey then an 8 out of 10. I think, once again, West Ham are getting a few nice jerseys in this season, which is good to see. So I think the Hammers get an 8 out of 10 by me. And finally, then we go on to the Wolves away kit. And once again, the Wolves uh, home kit was decent enough. And the away kit, in my opinion, is a wee bit better. You know, once again, I do kind of like it. I believe it's another blue template and it's got a few yellow in it too. I mean, I kind of do like it, in my opinion. I think it does look nice and well. I think, once again, I've just have to settle with the same rating as the West Ham one. So, I've given Wolves away kit then an 8 out of 10. And that will end this kit rating video, everybody. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, let me know in the comments if you'd like to see me rating the Premier League team third kits. Let me know in the comments if you'd like to see that. Make sure you like, subscribe and turn on notifications. And I'll see you all on KCFG very, very soon.